Press the X button, followed by the modifier, in this case the circle button, to do a more elaborate and powerful combo attack. Wow. Whoa now, easy my boy. Very well done. That enemy would be dead, and you now have only one target in focus. Both square and circle are now available modifiers to give you even more elaborate and powerful attacks. But remember, your combo must start with the button that corresponds to the target you are facing. Let's try an attack you can only do when you are focused on a single enemy. Press X, followed by a modifier, then the next modifier. In this case, that's X square circle or X circle square. Try it now. All right, let's try square circle. Nice. Now, the best warriors are prepared for what is around the corner. For this, you will need your bird, your spirit guide, Kuzo. When Kuzo takes a perch, you will be able to use his vision and prepare for what lies ahead. To find Lee's perches, look for a beam of light that shines on a bird icon. Once found, center the bird icon in your view and it will begin to spin. You may then press L2 to send off Kuzo. Try finding a perch and sending Kuzo now. Okay, so where's the perch? Up there. Yeah, they're really holding my hand in this tutorial, aren't they? Well done. Use the directional stick to look around. Look around to oh, see the light beam shining on the next bird icon. Center the bird icon in your view so it begins to spin. Once it is spinning, press L2 to send Kuzo. There we go. Again, yeah, they won't let me skip ahead to things either. Very well done. You've had a good look around, but you would now need to prepare for what you see. Press the triangle button to return to your vision. Oh, do I want to, or do I want to go over there? You can now maneuver freely while Kuzo remains on his perch. Be okay. aware, though. Kuzo will return to your side when you get too far away. To see what trouble you are heading into, you may need to use his vision again. Press the triangle button again to use Kuzo's vision. Then press triangle one more time to regain control of yourself. Try it now. So I guess they want me to fly over there. Or maybe not. Now, Rao, you've learned much here today, and should be rewarded for your efforts. But first, I must know that you've learned well. Ah, oh, striking wood. Sharp weapons will stick in wood, so it is best to avoid fighting close to trees and other wooden objects. Okay. Apply these skills in your first mission, then see the sage for your reward. I to want to kill the pig. My challenge, press the start button at any time and choose Babushu's challenge. Try it now. Okay, I completely missed what he was said, what he was saying because I was trying to kill the pig. Ooh, the pig is dead. Can I eat him? No. Okay. Yeah, I completely missed what he said. Um. To remind you of my challenge, press maybe? the start button at any time and choose Bamushu's challenge. Try it now. Okay, so. Bamusu's challenge. That's it. Just went on a mission, visit this page. Stick around and practice if you like. You may discover more than you've been taught. Or head back to the inn. And Rao, come to see me before each new mission. And I'll see to it you are prepared for the job. Or can I swim? Or is this like Assassin's Creed, where it's instant death? No, okay, good. They won't even allow me in the water. Alright, well, just to make sure, is there anything else I can use this bird for? No? Okay, bird whatever. Cruiser is an old bird, Rao. Time to go back into the bar. I did see an archery thing, though. I wonder if I'm going to get a bow and arrow. I hope. Well, he talked to me, so... I think he said... To start my mission, I just need to leave the area and go to the forest, if I can get around these friggin' chairs. 
So just re-exit the building. Cleaning the floor and washing dishes. Ha! This was not the kind of work my master was looking for. He was young and in search of adventure, freeing the land from murderous bandits. Now that was a job worthy of a warrior. He left that same day, his sword strapped to his back. Kuzo, his spirit guide, scouting the path ahead. The bandits had been terrorizing the local roads for months now. Rao had heard that they were camped out in some local ruins. He had also heard that they were many in number and skilled as swordsmen. <laughs> Good. Not as skilled as I. My master did not want this to be too easy. I love the art. I also love the way that they transition from the artwork towards my character. So I guess that's the only real way to adjust the camera. That's kind of crap. I have to hold on to L1. See, if I'm moving around and I press L1, that does nothing. Check out the water textures in this thing. As they say, the water is a great way to tell how old a game is. For the most part, it's just green with little lines going through it. It's not too bad. At least it's not still water. Okay, Kuzo. A spinning bird icon marked by a beam of light is a perch. We already learned about that. So we need to send Kuzo up there. Is there any way to get this bird to go faster? Square, X, and Circle do not do anything. And we already learned about Kuzo View. So I guess this is a good way to scout the area before I go into it. So there I am. I got three enemies to fight right there. And another area to go to, so let's do that. Let's go right there. Anything else around here? Oh, there we go. If I press triangle, that's a way to cancel out the long and tedious flight pattern. Good to know. Oh, and there's another enemy up there. So I got three down there and one up there. And another over there. Okay. Let's do it. Our first row fight. Focus and attack enemies. Point or sweep the right analog stick. We already learned about that. Dude! Fatality! Damn, decapitation! Damn! That is how you kill someone right there. And apparently I got some random challenge. Okay, I'm really starting to love this game now. Okay, striking walls. Rao's weapon will bounce off hard surfaces, so it's best to avoid fighting near walls. Good to know. He's just gonna bleed to death, isn't he? Dude, I chopped his arm off. Jesus Christ. Rao is dangerous. Okay, two more enemies. Yeah, he's just gonna die. Oh, he was already dead. Do I really have to do that? Damn. Apparently so. Okay, view all challenges. Enter the pause menu and select Bamusa's challenge to view all challenges. Okay. Health capacity maxed, or something like that. I didn't really read that in time. Okay, do not fall off the ledge. Is he dead? He's dead. Because so far, this game's kind of easy. Then again, it is the first level, so I don't really expect much of a challenge. 
It is kind of fun, though, seeing all these different kills. Ooh, I did not check the bird. Okay, so... Ooh, there's some more enemies coming towards me. Okay, health bar. Rao's health bar appears at his feet when he takes damage. The bar starts at green and becomes red, like always. Rinrar is near death. Press the R2 button or enter and exit the pause menu to check Rao's health or set Rao's health to always show health in the pause menu. I think I'm going to do that after I kill this group of people. Okay, there goes his arm. 